So it looks like starting on July 9th, USPS is going to be offering a service called Ground Advantage. What we're going to talk about today are what is it exactly that they're offering? What are some more details on this USPS Ground Advantage? Like, what is this? You know, why are they rolling this out? Why the change all of a sudden? What this means for eBay resellers? You know, what do we need to know? What changes do we need to worry about doing? Or, you know, how does this affect us exactly? And then what's the takeaway? Like, what are my thoughts on this? Is this a good thing? Is this a step in the right direction? What does this mean for shipping or eBay and USPS as a whole? Check it out, stay tuned. Hey y'all, Kevin here, also known as Resale Geek. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about this new USPS ground advantage. Like, what the heck is this? Some bulletins from USPS that were posted and messages from eBay over the past month. You had to do a little bit of research to figure out, you know, what is this exactly? It seems like a whole lot of folks really aren't sure about what all this entails and why this is happening or how it's going to affect us. So I was hoping to shed a little bit of light on it just to provide maybe a little bit of a better understanding. Just a little disclaimer, I do not work for the USPS. The information I'm giving is based on what I've seen, what I've read, and just the best way that I understand what's happening. Ground Advantage, basically all they're doing is they're taking three existing economy services, first class package, ground retail, and parcel select, and basically consolidating them into one product called USPS Ground Advantage. I know a lot of people are going to be skeptical. Well, anytime, you know, they say advantage, we're guaranteed to be at a disadvantage. Or I've seen some other negative comments. I can tell you just by reading the white paper, reading some of the details that they've put out, it actually seems like this is going to be a good idea. So not only are they taking three services and replacing it with one, they're also offering $100 of included insurance to protect against damage or loss of your merchandise. It's going to be two to five business days for delivery standard across the board for ground advantage so to me that definitely sounds like an advantage i'm hoping this is the case instead of people having to decide between first class package parcel select retail ground this and that now you have one choice it's standard across the board all the same, and we should be seeing some improvements. There were some limitations with first class package where it had to be a pound or under, and you didn't have included insurance, so if something happened to your package, then it was just lost or damaged, and you were out that money, or the value of the package. With ground advantage, not only do you have the $100 included, but you actually have the option of purchasing $5,000 in additional coverage, which to me sounds great, because I don't know about you, but I definitely want to make sure that my package is insured and covered if something were to become damaged or lost. We all know that the service as a whole and some of the carriers are not the most reliable. Just as with anything else, there is human error and there's a chance for things to go wrong, so it's nice to have that added peace of mind and extra coverage. In addition to this, the maximum limits for lower economy services are being increased. In the past, you had to have parcel select or higher, like priority mail. It could be up to 130 inches, length and girth combined, and 70 pounds. Now this is straight across the board, regardless of what what you're shipping since everything is going to be consolidated into this one service so overall it seems like with what they're offering it's going to be a good thing it's going to be an improvement over what we were seeing in the past hopefully how is this going to affect us with it being streamlined usps can provide better service it'll be easier for them to manage on the back end not to mention easier for the consumer because now instead of having to figure out which service to use it's a lot more simple with one service and it looks like they're going to be reducing cost as well I definitely think this sounds good. Now, how is this going to affect us as eBay resellers? What do we have to do to prepare for this? Well, the good news is really not a whole lot. There are a couple of situations where you need to be aware of where you will need to go in and make some changes, and I'll go over those in just a moment. But for the most part, they're trying to make things as seamless as possible. So if you're using first class mail, that's not going to change because that's not affected, like postcards and small things like that. However, first class package and ground retail, you will need to update any business business policies you have as far as shipping policies and any associated listings that use those policies. If you have any listings whatsoever in your eBay store that are set to use first class package or retail ground, within the next month or so you'll want to make sure you go into those listings or into your eBay account under your business policies and then shipping policies and make sure you change anything that's using first class package or retail ground 
to ground advantage once the change happens, once those options are available. If you are using parcel select, the good news is that will update automatically, so you don't have to worry about manually changing anything. eBay will convert that over to ground advantage once the change happens on July 9th. What does this mean as far as printing out labels? If you print out labels, they'll usually give you about a week or two for that label to be good before it expires and you have to print out a new one. If you print out a label that says first class package, parcel select, ground retail, that label will still be good after the change happens on July 9th, provided that the label would otherwise still have been good and not expired and accepted by the post office. That means if you printed a shipping label the day or two before the change happened, as long as the label itself is still good, they will still ship your package using the new product that they offer, even though the label might say parcel select or first class package. Now as far as the eBay side of things, if you sell an item, that has parcel select or first class mail specified as the shipping method, like first class package, retail ground, parcel select. When you go to print that label, if it's sold with one of those options specified, it'll show USPS ground advantage on the label. And like I said, eBay is giving us a grace period in order to get any listings that need to be updated changed over to ground advantage that are not going to be converted automatically. So what do I think about all this? Do I think this is a good idea? Honestly, I really do. I mean, if they're doing these changes for what the reasons that they say they are, uh, providing uh, consolidated solutions to make things more simple, trying to reduce cost, trying to improve service on their side by making things easier to manage on the back end, which should result in service improvements and less delays and problems, then I am all for that. I can tell you why I think that they're making this change. I see that uh, they realize that they have other competitors out there like FedEx and UPS and they need to lower their prices in order to make things more attractive and more appealing. They probably also realize that a lot of people were complaining about the service, but most importantly, like any other organization or company, they're in it to make money. So. They can't do that if people are choosing other carriers for their services or if they're choosing other less expensive products. They may want to reduce prices as a whole in order to gain customers and make things more appealing. But if you think about it, if you're offering three services that are pretty similar and kind of redundant, obviously the buyer is going to select the most cost effective, the cheapest option. So I know I would pick first class package if I had something that weighed less than a pound or probably parcel select ground if it was less than 70 pounds. Why would I choose a more expensive option if I didn't have to, if I knew that the package is still gonna get there around the same time and take just as long to get to my destination, then what's the point of buying a more expensive option? Maybe if you wanted the additional included insurance, but you could still always get ship cover or USPS insurance added to your other package, your other shipment method. With them including the uh, coverage for damaged or lost items and then guaranteeing two to five days or, or stating that they're going to deliver things within two to five business days they've effectively made it to where they can be more competitive provide things that are streamlined less expensive so i'm hoping all this results in in good sir i'm, I'm going to be optimistic and then say that yes you know hopefully they're improving things i'd like to think so but i guess we'll find out in the coming weeks, coming month. I mean, what do you think? Do you think this is a step in the right direction? Are they improving things? Is this a good idea? Can they be trusted? Is this overall going to be a good thing? I don't know. You tell us. You drop it in the comments. You know, tell us what you think. And as usual, if you have any questions, comments, ideas, suggestions, you can drop those in the comments below also. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any updates. You want to be notified when I drop any new videos. And it helps us out. It supports our channel. So we appreciate that. And otherwise, we hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you on the next one. Peace!